relationship is always considered problem in the process of relating the other becomes the mirror and the presence of the other helps you to see your face in many ways but we do not look at while relating this way when problems begin to crop up we blame the other we forget that the other acts as a mirror in the process when you look at yourself in the mirror it highlights your shortcomings as well as qualities while relating the other always becomes a mirror but we forget others we go on making the statements like this one makes me really angry makes me frustrated in all those things but we never say any such things for the mirror i do not want to use the mirror because mirror makes me look ugly mirror makes me look fat instead when we stand up in front of the mirror we see these shortcomings we work on overcoming those but this does not happen when it comes to relating we forget we have to keep at the back of our mind that the other becomes the mirror and when you look into the mirror it highlights your shortcomings as well as qualities mind continues to nag about shortcomings and mind does not accept it willingly it is always considered as if the other who is the cause of it always the other remains the cause of your problems your mind continues to say this this creates problem and the same happens to the other you become the mirror for him this is why relationship is a problem everyone considers the other as the cause of the problem but we forget that the relationship is a process relating is the we and in the process of relating the other becomes the mirror whether you are relating to a friend or an employee or a coworker or your spouse or your husband or your wife or anyone in every way the other becomes a mirror only through awareness that one can accept the face as it is reflected through the mirror of relationship remember in the process of relating if you are relating to a friend or a family member or a coworker or employee or employer or your boss or your spouse or husband and wife he becomes the mirror and when you look into the mirror you see your face but we forget this basic tenet and we continue to blame the other for our problems only through awareness one can accept the face as it is reflected through the mirror of relationship and then one day the same relationship becomes the way of transcendence otherwise without awareness no one has grown no one has transcended beyond the quagmire of relationships nobody indeed wants to know his real face that is why down the centuries people have been escaping from relationships to monasteries these are cowards they are avoiding relationship because in a relationship their true faces are reflected when you are relating to someone it is very clearly evident and reflects how much understanding do you have you may think you may claim that you are a really religious person you are meditating for 40 years 50 years 20 years but when a situation comes through relating to the other you are walking on the road all of a sudden somebody gives you a bad drive or you are dressed elegantly and by mistake of someone something falls on your clothes or someone says something these are the situations that are created by way of relating then 
what happens the way you act the way you react the way you behave the way you speak reflects of your innerness so what they do they avoid relationship because in the relationship their true faces are reflected alone they can think of themselves whatever they want to think that they have become enlightened they are a great masters they are this and that outside the relationship they can create any image they want about themselves so the first problem with relationship is that relationship reflects you and you reflect the other person too and your totality comes up you are not just what you project on the surface you may be looking very calm composed and collected and deep down you are a volcano ready to explode any moment in fact the volcano within is waiting for any small opportunity to explode when you look around in your life this is what you will find going on so you prefer to opt out of the situation and then live like robinson crusoe and you can go on boasting that you are a very quiet person but you have never given any opportunity to go in the crowd to see how quiet a person you are the deeper you get involved in your relationship the deeper feelings it will bring up the relationship connects you to your unconscious subconscious and collective unconscious and collective subconscious layers there is unconscious layer there is subconscious layer and collective unconscious what is collective unconscious you are unconscious so you will naturally find the company of the people who are unconscious like you it is very easy for an ignorant to find the company of an ignorant one but that company cannot help you to grow so we try to avoid the company of the intelligent ones or the people who are aware so these three stages unconscious we do not know why we are acting this way subconscious is below that layer and then collective subconscious and collective unconscious this is the dark aspect of your being the very secret of relationship requires you getting connected to these layers and then through awareness transcend beyond this when you come in the company of someone feel what happens within sometimes you feel that you cannot be compared to this person this this person is much more talented much more versatile so you feel an inferiority complex this is wrong at that moment you look at it that other person whom you consider as versatile was also ignorant like you one day and with the process with continuation and persistence that person has gained proficiency versatility so one day you too can attain to that state once effort is there but if you start looking at it differently then there is a problem i remember many years ago i had been to a place and had to pass through the cemetery on a grave it was written look at me o passers by look at me o passers by as you are now i was ever as you are now i was ever as i am now you will be so think it true today you are in a standard one and the person whom you looking at he has he or she has crossed the standard one and he has reached to the standard two this person has not reached to standard two without going through the rigors of standard one and you have now come in standard one there is a gap of one year one academic session between the two when you cross that you will attain to the state of understanding that is the very benchmark of that person 
everyone will grow at its at his or her own pace so there is nothing to worry about but what is more important is that you are in the process the other should be looked into that way that his persistence his continuity has brought him to that stage i would like to be like that person so that i can attain to that state of understanding one day if you are really into a relationship it will shatter you all your images will be shattered all your faces will be torn all your mask will start dropping and whenever this happens the person starts to take revenge on the others that is why your wife or girlfriend goes on saying no behind her no there is a deep yes in fact she want to say yes that is why she says no but she is afraid of her own totality not only afraid of her own totality she is absolutely uncertain as well and life goes on dragging like this for some time each expects the other to improve according to one's expectation you want your wife to change to improve and your wife wants you to change so is the case with the any kind of relation if you improve only then we can get together the other says so and nobody improves really because in the eyes of everyone he is perfect he has no problem i have no problem as far as i am concerned but the problem is in the other is in you so unless you improve our relationship cannot improve this is the basic problem that we face when we come to relate and nobody improves upon the others because we have our own images and expectation from others each expects the other to improve according to one's expectations but nothing happens and then day after day brawl continues and then one day after a brawl you are finally out of the relationship each relationship begins in an unconscious way brawl happens in an unconscious way and one day after the brawl unconsciously you are out of it you blame the other because the other had this 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 problem that's why you could not get on well with that person people have cleared a little ground for their being and they try to live comfortably there the whole is like a vast canvas they do not even want to remember this and whenever you are in love your deepest feeling is stir love indeed stirs your deepest core through feelings with that feeling all other feelings are also stirred up with your understanding of love jealousy hatred anger all these kind of attributes surface love is almost like a backbone to feeling body and emotional body if your backbone is taken out you will be spineless just a block your spine holds you together exactly in the same way the feeling body is held together by the spine of love the emotional body is also held by the spine of love but if the spine is not strong enough neither the feeling body nor the emotional body can stay if you are not in love you can control your anger very easily in fact if you are not in love at all there will not be any opportunity to be angry remember this always if you are not in love you can control your anger and that too very easily in fact if you are not in love at all there will be no opportunity to be angry you can control your sadness very easily too 
If you are not in love, you can manage your life very conveniently. That is possible when you opt out of relationship. And certainly this is what happens in monasteries all over the world, all around. Your so-called saints are the ordinary people who have come to know one thing about them. If they love, all chaos comes into being. If they do not, the whole chaos disappears and they feel very happy that they are very spiritual. Indeed, it is the cheapest way to become peaceful. However, such peace is of the graveyard and I do not teach because this peace is the peace of the dead. There is no dance, there is no song, there is no celebration in this. Instead, I teach you living, singing and dancing peace. I would like you to go to the deepest core of your being without worrying about the consequences. Pass through the chaos and turmoil and then transcend it. It is painful. When you go through the pain and turmoil, you come out stronger and in a much better way you transcend. You will not gain anything by escaping from it. Escaping is not going to really change you or help you in any way. Nothing will change them. You will have to pass through these situations in togetherness. Only then you can transcend beyond the quagmire of relationships and then you will understand the secret and the essence of relationship and then one day you have transcended, you have attained to the beyond this.